I had to turn my wardrobe upside down today in order to find this jacket. It's really beautiful. But why does it smell so strong? My mom uses moth for the clothes when she puts them away. Moth? I guess you mean mothballs. You're right, mothballs. The small white balls that are used for keeping moths away from clothes. Yes, I know what they are. But today, when I was looking for my jacket, I noticed something strange. What was it? When my mom put the winter clothes away last year, she used mothballs. I remember that because I helped her myself. So, what's the mystery? That there were only few small balls left in the jacket. What could have happened to the rest? Have they been eaten by the moths? I wonder if moths prefer them over clothes and so they ate them instead of the jacket. No, mothballs are poison for moths. So, have they evaporated? Actually, I don't know. But they couldn't have evaporated. Today we've come to the laboratory because we're going to carry out an experiment. In order to do it, we'll need to light the burner, which I'll do. And then you'll watch and tell me what you've noticed. I'll light this burner and put this pot with water on it. What will happen? The water will heat up. If we look at the water right now, what can we see? We see that it's moving and bubbles have started to appear. Isn't there anything coming out of the water? Yes, vapor is coming out because the water is about to boil. Very good. The water has nearly come to the boil. In other words, it has almost reached its boiling point because we have raised this temperature by means of the fire. Now, there's the liquid in the pot and the vapor coming out of it. Which of them is water? The water is in the pot. What's coming out of it is the vapor. Mm, no. Both are water. But it's in two different states. See? The matter that surrounds us can be found in at least three different states or phases. Solid, liquid, and gaseous. Besides, it can change phases. In this case, water turned from liquid state into gaseous state. This phase transition is called evaporation and occurs on the surface of the liquid. Can we change it again from the gaseous back into the liquid state? Yes, that's the second part of our experiment. Please see what happens when I slam the lid on top of the pot. Some drops of water are formed and fall again into the pot. In other words, Water vapor returns to the liquid state when it hits the lid and falls into the pot again. You've said that matter has three states. We've already mentioned the gaseous and the liquid. There's still one missing, the solid state. Excellent. What's the solid state of the water? Ice. Right. I've made a diagram on the blackboard for you to see how water changes from one phase into another. I know what happened to the mothballs. They change from a ball solid state into a smelling gaseous state. A ball solid state into a smelling gaseous state? What's that? It's simple, Nat. Moth poison. <laughs> hey, don't forget to subscribe and answer the question. You can also click the links on the right to continue learning and click the like button. We appreciate your help. See ya!